Let's switch gears right now. Bree, it was uh, really nice out there today, so I'm hoping that this week that we're rolling into is even nicer. <laughs> yeah, we're rolling into us. yeah, we're rolling into a relatively mild week. Now those winds, I know they started to calm down here throughout the day today and now, but still, it is a pretty breezy evening here for our Sunday temperatures. Now, I mean, picture perfect for spring. We are about five to ten degrees here up from this point yesterday in terms of our temperatures. We are starting on this warming trend. We are just going to continue here on the up and up clouds radar. We're just dealing with a few high clouds there. We still saw plenty of sunshine here throughout the day. Weather headlines though for you. We are going to continue to warm up to well above average. Now we do have a windy week. Very dry air too, so I wouldn't recommend any outdoor burning. There is still going to be that fire weather danger. Wind speeds now though, again, our windiest areas being there along the Colorado River. Laughlin at 23 miles per hour, Kingman at 19 and Overton at 14. And that fire weather warning is still in effect here until 6 o'clock tonight. But again, those winds, they aren't really necessarily going to calm down significantly here, but heading into tomorrow, breezy conditions still expected there, and then even heading into Tuesday, even windier conditions. North wind still, again, coming in 20 to 30 miles per hour. Monday, breezy 82. Tuesday, we're jumping 10 degrees to 92. And again, we do have this short wave of energy going to be pushing through here, coming off of the California coast Tuesday through Thursday. That is going to increase those wind speeds there. And again, we are still dealing with very dry air. There are no advisories or watches out right now, but I wouldn't be surprised if there were any issued in terms of winds or red flag warnings. Wednesday, 91. Thursday, we're at 87. And then we stay in the mid to upper 80s heading into the weekend.